The Ames Animal Shelter has been recognized by Best Friends Animal Society for reaching no-kill status in 2023. The designation is given to shelters that save 90% or more of dogs and cats entering the shelter during the past year. It's not easy. As WHO 13's Roger Riley reports, this shelter has gone way above and beyond what is considered standard practice. At the Ames Animal Shelter, they're all about keeping cats and dogs alive. <laughs> Taking them in when they need shelter and adopting them out has won this big award. To receive this award from Best Friends, which is a national organization, they're located in Utah. Uh, they require at least a 90% uh, live release rate. Our live release rate is actually 98.26, so it's, it's much higher than, uh, than 90% and almost at 100%, which is really uh, just quite an achievement and something that we're very proud of here. This is the second year in a row this honor has been awarded to Ames. It's more amazing when you consider how cramped this building is. We don't have a special place for exotics, and, and more and more we're seeing more of these animals coming in. These uh, are guinea pigs here, and we have gerbils there. <laughs> Yeah. We had an outbreak of panleukopenia, which is a very uh, highly contagious, deadly disease um, that goes through your kitten population. Well, this animal shelter was built 30 years ago and space is tight, so soon the city of Ames will be launching a fundraising campaign to construct a new facility. Yeah, the city is uh, being very active about putting together a plan for that. We've had uh, quite a few meetings uh, looking at uh, locations. The shelter also has volunteers give the animals exercise and the critters are entertained with something called cat TV. Motivated, keeping them acclimated to the environment um, is really important. So in our community rooms, the cats get to watch cat TV and that could be squirrels on a screen, they could be birds, it could be bugs. <laughs> Roger Riley <laughs> reporting there so far this year, this perspective of how hard this job is. The shelter has had 90 animals owners surrendered. They've taken in 117 strays, 110 reclaimed animals, and they have successfully adopted 163 animals. Incredible.